have an all women chefs competition today, which I love to see. Very rare. Okay, I got girls here. This is good competition, but it takes a lot to get me rattled. I'm gonna have to challenge you on that one, baby. <laughs> These are duck testicles. Yeah, there's $10,000 right out the door. They're like these little worm-looking things that just freak me out. When you get something like that, you want to stop eating. You need to get some balls. Oops. Oh, now she's starting to kind of push out. the envelope. I would be a little afraid of me, too. <laughs> Chefs, please open your baskets. And we have brown bread in a can. <laughs> Dried figs frozen peas, and duck white kidneys. Exactly 20 minutes for the appetizer course. Time starts now. Immediately, my brain goes to bread pudding. I grab milk, I grab eggs, get those mixed together. The brown bread, I just kind of treat it like brown sugar. What on earth? <laughs> with soul food, you have to deal with what you have in front of you. So my plan is to make fried kidneys with this brown bread coating. And then I'm gonna top it with a fig and purple potato hash. This is a test for me. You gotta roll with what you're given. I've got the duck kidneys, the fig, and the peas. My plan is to do a pot pie. I grab rosemary, carrots, onions, get those on the stove, hit the pan with a little whiskey to give it some flavor. I'm going to make a duck kidney mousse. Organ meat is really good as a mousse. I'm getting herbs and cream. I grab the brandy because I know I need to deglaze the pan. I put these kidneys in the pan, but the bread is not adhering at all. Is that working the way I want to do? Five minutes left on the clock, chefs. Five minutes, five minutes. Behind. I'm going to prove today that there's nothing that I can't do and that I'm only going to go up from this day forward. 10, 9, 8, As I'm plating seven, the duck puree, I'm thinking, I still have to put the figs on the plate. 6, get on the plate. 5, 4, oh my God, Catherine, get 3, on the plate. <gasps> 2, 1. That's it. Time's up. Please step back. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chef Deirdre. OK, what I prepare for you today is a sweet, savory bread pudding with kidneys and sweet peas and a potato and fig home fry. And next, we have Chef Suzanne. Um, chefs, what I made for you today was a duck kidney and brown bread pudding with peas. And next, we go to Chef Catherine. I made a toasted brown bread with a duck kidney puree, a fresh pea arugula salad, and a fig gastrique. Chef Kara. I made today a brown bread and fig savory bread pudding with a chilled mint pea coulis with lightly black and dusted duck testicles. You had the chance to impress the judges with your first course, but someone's work did not measure up. Chef Catherine. You've been chopped. Judges? Catherine, the fact that you were even going to take on a duck white kidney mousse today shows us that you're ambitious. But unfortunately, one of the mystery basket ingredients was not on your plates. So that's why we had to chop you today. Please open your baskets. And the mandatory ingredients for the entree course are quail, Pedro Jimenez sherry, crones, and cabbage. You will have 30 minutes for this round. Clock starts now. Immediately, I just taste these crones, and I thought, oh, tastes like jicama. I can create a slaw because we already got cabbage. I'm from down south. We're gonna make some slaw. And what goes better with a slaw than something fried? Going into round two, I know I need to step it up and kind of go with it. I'm gonna sear it and then finish it in the oven. I'm gonna do a cornmeal crust and I'm gonna fry it because I really want to show them my southern roots. Well, obviously today's quite different because we have all female chefs and now we have all southern female chefs, which really changes the game. I look at the crones and I wanna break it down and make it a little bit more familiar. So I put my cream on because I wanna get the crones super tender to get that really nice thick puree. 
Judges, these crones, they kind of look like, almost like insects. They're an artichoke, and they really taste like water chestnut. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Please step back. Woo! Chef Suzanne. I did a seared quail with a pan sherry sauce, a creme puree, and a warm cabbage slaw. Next, Chef Cara. Yes, today I made a blue plate special. It's a cornmeal crusted quail deep fried with a white pepper gravy, mashed potatoes, and a sherry slaw. And I left the crones whole roasted because it's just my side veggie for my blue plate special. And next, we see what Chef Deidre has brought to the plate. I uh, have prepared for you today, Chef, some fried quail legs with warm slaw and some creamy grits. There can be only two chefs in the third and final round. Chef Deirdre. Yes. You've been chopped. Thank you very much. Judges. Deirdre, we loved your uh, quail legs. However, we felt like the grits, while good, and the sausage really didn't make much sense on this particular dish. And the thing that really didn't work for us was the slaw. And for that reason, we won't be moving on today. The competition is down to just the two of you, Chef Suzanne, Chef Cara. But the intensity level is about to go way up. Please open your baskets. And for your desserts, you must use crescent roll dough, dried currants, key lime juice, and creamed corn. 30 minutes on the clock. Time starts now. When I open the basket, I'm excited. Being from the South, we eat tons of cream corn. Ice cream pops into my head. So I grab eggs and cream and some citrus, because I know that the citrus is going to really make the currants pop. My plan is to step a little bit out of the box and fry my crescent roll. I feel like those other ingredients aren't meant to be together, so I'm going to make two sauces. When I see the crescent rolls, I decide I'm going with a turnover. So I grab the apples and break those down and just toss those in with the currants, along with some cognac, then the key lime juice, get that cooked down before I stuff the turnovers with it. What I'm making for dessert is very creative. A lot of people would have taken that crescent roll and just stuffed it with the secret ingredients. As I put them in the oven, I just don't think it's going to be enough time for them to bake. So I grab the oil, hoping that plan B is going to be to fry these things if they don't turn out. Oh. She's going to fry now? Holy moly. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now she's starting to kind of push out. the envelope. Five minutes left on the clock, chefs. I totally just forget that my ice cream's been in a while. So I go over to the machine, and my heart just sinks. Is it coming out? It's like it's frozen. God, there's $10,000 right out the door. Suzanne's ice cream is definitely giving her problems, but I really try not to concern myself too much with it. I pull my plates. I really am, like, ready. I just want to do this and let the judges eat. I see that I have mascarpone on my station, so I immediately just put that in with the bowl, use a little bit more of the key lime juice. Just under one minute, chefs. Oh, 50 seconds. Goodness. Well, this is it. This is the whole competition. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Please step back. Chef Kara. My dessert is a play on a little bit of a cream puff with a tequila, currant sauce, and a corn and brown sugar sauce. And our next and last dessert, Chef Suzanne. Chefs, I did a apple and currant turnover with a caramel and pink peppercorn sauce accompanied by a corn and lime cream. Whose dish is on the chopping block? Chef Kara, you've been chopped. Kara, what it came down to is execution. Starting with the bread pudding, there was just a lack of seasoning in it. The quail, it was really over and it was dry. And the heavy laden quality of the crescent dough is hard to ignore. Thank you guys so much for the opportunity. Congratulations. And that means, Chef Suzanne, that you are the chopped champion and that you're going back to Atlanta with an extra $10,000. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you all so much.